I believe that my most proudest moment as a teacher was when I received a job at Eau Claire High School as the assistant director of bands and the steel drum teacher. I knew as a child that I wanted to be some type of teacher. My skills didn't hone uh, into being a music teacher until seventh grade when I started taking it extremely serious when I had moved with my dad. Um, I took this job and it really was a challenge for me because the job entailed a task that I was not familiar with. Um, teaching steel drums was something that I was not taught in college. I didn't have any courses in it. Um, I didn't have any pedagogical or, or methodology skills uh, to, to teach it. And so uh, the, this job potentially introduced something um, that I didn't know that I had in myself. And I had a chance to really grow as a teacher and as a person, as a mentor, um, and, and really understand who I was as a musician. And I remember telling my mom when I had gotten this job, and my mom was kind of like, whoa, you know, at Eau Claire High School. And you know, this was a, a school where, you know, it was known to have some challenges, but it needed good teachers to come in and just really understand how to educate our kids. So the day my son came home and said he got the job at Eau Claire High School, I was like, okay, maybe you shouldn't take that job. <laughs> However, he took the job <laughs> and oh my God, he did some amazing things with the kids over there, um, parents loving on him. All of the differences he made in those kids' lives was everything, you know. Um, it was Mr. Adams this, Mr. Adams that, but he took the job and oh my God, it was the best thing ever he could have done. What really made my job so successful was because I invited my students to learn. I had a chance to get them to understand music that they knew so that I had a chance to teach them what they didn't understand. And I had a chance to also show the kids that they had a mentor that was going to be there for them, that was going to understand them, that was going to nurture them, that was going to take their skills and just elevate and augment them. And I also wanted my students to know that poverty did not determine success. And I wanted them to know that I was there for them and they mentioned that they had teachers who didn't um, invest as much time as I did in them and who didn't care for them. And I wanted them to know that I love them with the same amount of love that Jesus Christ loves me. You know, we were on the news together. We did so many concerts and venues and we became a household name uh, around the state of South Carolina. Uh, we did so many great things for the community. I mean, we played for the mayor, we played for the superintendent. I mean, we really had a chance to grasp our audience and really take the steel drums to another level. And you really, when you talk about steel drum, you think about calypso music, and you think about you know music that's indigenous to that culture. But I had a chance to infuse, you know, that against R and B, against jazz, um, against so many different genres, so that uh, people could understand uh, how to transcend these instruments and really, really, really um, teach students how to utilize them in the United States way of the educational system.